Hi, my name is Paul Jordan. I'm making this short video today to share with you my experience in working with Xtelecom. Just a little bit about myself. I've been licensed since 2011 and worked in the field face-to-face -face with my final expense clients. And in early 2020, I was hired on by a large IMO to help train new agents to sell face-to-face -face out in the field. Well, unfortunately, the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic came along and that changed everything for me. Um, I didn't want to go from house to house any longer, taking the risk of spreading the virus around to my clients or perhaps uh, me getting the virus and taking it home to my family. So I made a decision to transition into final expense telesales. And I was looking around for a lead vendor to work with. And I was really looking for a lead vendor that I could really view as a partner with me in my business. Not just one that would be there to send me leads, but also to provide assistance and support if I needed it along the way. So I called and spoke with Laurel Herrera on multiple occasions, and um, I was able to ask him a lot of questions and pick his brain about their leads and the quality of them and the training that they provide uh, for final expense telesales agents as well. And I was very impressed uh, by what they have to offer. And so I decided to go ahead and move forward and purchase some leads from them. Well, little did I know that I would run into some obstacles along the way. The first thing that happened was I had some technical difficulties with my CRM. Working in the field, I never um, had a CRM before. And so when these technical issues came up, I had no idea what to do because I'm not, um, I'm not good with computers. So I got on the phone with VanillaSoft, which is the company that provides my CRM, and they tried to help me through it, but um, I still couldn't get it straightened out. So I went ahead and gave Laurel Herrera a, a call and told him exactly what was going on, and he got in contact with his team at Xtelecom, and they went to work for me and actually uh, spent multiple hours and working on this issue. They even got on the phone with me and did a conference call with the tech support agents over at VanillaSoft. And finally, we were able to get things uh, straightened out. So after that experience, it really uh, helped to solidify in my mind that I made a good decision to work with these guys at Xtelecom because I could see that, you know, they weren't just interested in making a buck off of me. As a matter of fact, um, like I said, I had already paid for the leads at this point, and so I was a little bit concerned, like, man, what's going to happen here now that I'm having having problems and difficulties uh, with my CRM? And so this really helped to elevate my level of trust in them and to see that they really are committed to their clients and um, there to help and assist uh, with whatever type of uh, problems that we may be dealing with that might uh, be an impediment to us receiving our leads from them. Another thing that happened along the way is uh, my internet speed here, my office was not fast enough to support uh, my CRM system, my phone system, which is built into my CRM. So I had to get a, a technician out here to install new internet with a higher speed and that delayed things by another two weeks. So at this point, I was over three weeks um, out from the time that I actually paid for my leads and I hadn't, hadn't made a dime. So what happened was I actually started getting really stressed out about it because I had invested about $8,000 altogether in order to get started. Um, that included all my non-resident licenses, the leads, um, my office expenses, and internet and everything. So I started actually feeling like, man, did I make a mistake here uh, as far as going into telesales? I, I was like, man, I didn't realize that it was going to be this involved with the technology. And I honestly felt like backing out. 
So what I did was I, I gave Laura a call and spoke with him. We spoke for over 30 minutes and I explained uh, the situation to him and what I was dealing with. And he really helped to walk me through exactly what was going on, helped me to, to calm down and and stop the panic mode that I was in. Um, he kept reiterating to me, you know, that this was temporary and we were going to get through it. So he really helped to uh, support me through that time when I was having difficulties and starting to question myself. Um, and that was huge for me as well. It helped me to see that um, Laura's a real person and he cares about his clients um, on a higher level than just a business aspect as far as selling leads and making money off the leads. So that's what I wanted to share today. If you're looking for a lead vendor uh, that you can trust and that you know is going to be there and be committed to helping to support you and assist you along your way, I can highly recommend uh, X Telecom. So give Laura a call. I'm sure that he'd be happy to talk to you. Feel free to ask him any questions just like I did. He's an open book. Um, he'll answer your questions honestly. And hopefully uh, it'll help you along your way with making a decision as you're looking for a lead vendor that you can view as a true partner in your final expense telesales business.